New technology allows children who have never been able to walk before the opportunity to do that. And the benefits go beyond the psychological. Fox 4's Lori Brown has the story. Dude, look at you. Kristen Gibson's son Beckett is five years old. He was born with cerebral palsy, so seeing this is a moment she will never forget. I was getting teary-eyed because it's just, it's a first, it's a first, and not something that I expected to see anytime soon. So it's really special. How do your legs feel? What do they feel like? They feel good? You did great, buddy. Rachel Grodin's son Ian is nine years old with a rare genetic condition. He was at one point ambulatory and through many health struggles lost that ability. To, so to see him walking and being able to walk multiple steps I haven't seen since he was probably six years old and it was just my heart is full. Moments like these are what Mamit Magoo has dedicated his life to. He is the founder and CEO of Trexo Robotics. A few years ago I found out that my nephew Pranit was diagnosed with cerebral palsy and we learned that he would never be able to walk. The thought of my nephew never taking his first steps inspired us to find a solution. The solution, robotic legs. And provide them with the powered assistance for walking. Uh, so you have a powered hip joint, a powered knee joint, and a passive ankle. And while the milestone of walking is important psychologically, it also provides important physical benefits, even with the help of a robot. They say sitting eight hours at your desk is as bad as smoking a pack of cigarettes. What we're simply trying to do is bring back this core component of human health, which is walking. And once you start to do that, you start to see so many improvements and benefits. Since the company's launch in 2019, there are now 350 children using the devices. All of our Trexo users have completed 60 million steps, which is enough to walk around the earth three times. It was amazing. This is the first time Luke has ever walked. And without one of these devices, probably the loss. Arlene Crisman's son Luke is two years old with the terminal illness male rat syndrome. He's given two to four years to live. Muscle tone issues, so his muscles getting stiffer. Something like this would help to prevent that from happening. Increase mobility, um, increase movement. Magoo says insurance companies are beginning the process of funding them on a case-by-case -case basis as clinical studies about the benefits are underway. But for many, the plan is to start fundraising, a process to take one step at a time. In Plano, Lori Brown, Fox 4 News.